Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, we're going to talk about dive bombing squats. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. Before I get into it, I have three client slots open. If you are interested, if you need help losing weight or building muscle or strength, slide into my DM at Instagram, at Ben the Barman, send me a message, and I'll let you know the details. All right, dive bombing squats. I can't remember if I've ever made a video on this. I probably have addressed it at one point in time, either directly or indirectly, but it's a really good topic. A while back, dive bombing squats were all the rage. You know how it goes in lifting. Things come and things go. You know, we one day you wake up and everybody's doing deficit deadlifts. One day you wake up, everybody's doing five by fives. Kind of nature of the beast. And at its core, none of this stuff is inherently bad. There's just some things you need to know about dive bombing squats before you do them or before you try them. Now, I'm not going to get into the, all the logistics and all the uh, physiological this, that, and the other thing. Because, look, everybody is different. There is no best way for everybody to blanketly say that dive bombing squats should or shouldn't be avoided it would be foolish of me okay because i've seen some very very strong olympic level lifters doing them i've messed around with them myself and everybody's different different limb lengths different leverages so try them if you want just do your research but there is something you need to understand before you try them. And this is the most important thing, in my opinion, that you need to understand before you try dive bombing squat. And that is you need to understand how to get your upper body tight. Because one of the things that you're going to run into with a dive bombing squat is if you don't have your upper body tight, you're going to, because of the speed of descent, you're going to increase the likelihood that you're going to get sloppy in the hole, lean in the hole, put more pressure on your lower back, all that good stuff. So what does it mean to get tight in the upper body? Well, one thing you don't see lifters doing, and let me see if I can do this here, is when they got the bar on their back, you don't, you, their elbows are just kind of hanging loosely, okay? They aren't really pulling that bar down. They aren't really pulling their elbows down. So when you have the bar on your back, make sure you just pull it down just slightly. You're not trying to do a death grip and bend the bar over your shoulders, right? But you want to try and just pull it down and then, and then lock your elbows in, right? Pull that bar down, lock, lock your elbows down a little bit. What that'll do is that has your grip tight, that has your forearms tight, that has your arms tight, and that helps keep your upper upper back tight. And that'll help keep your chest tight as well. So you have all this covered, everything's tied up here. And then from there, you can brace your, your core, or push out on your core against your belt, and your upper body is good to go. Now, before each squat rep, or in this case, before each dive bombing rep, when you come up out of the hole, you have to do that mental, you have to do that cue again. Lock it, lock the elbows down. Pull the bar down just slightly, lock the elbows down, and then dive bomb. That will help. That will help keep upper body tightness and help prevent a little bit forward lean or a little extra sloppiness on your squats. One final tip I will recommend, and this is one of my staple squatting cues, is that when you dive bomb, Focus on driving your butthole straight down. You don't want to get any wobble in the hole, okay? You don't want to have your butthole going left or right. This will throw things off center, mess with your hamstrings, mess with your hips, mess with your knees. So during those squats, think about dive bombing your butthole down. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.